Hello and welcome to episode number 143 of Super Kali Funnelistic. My name is Christian Rauchenwald and today I'm going to explain to you how ClickFunnels Sticky Cookie works. Before we get to that, as always, a quick welcome to all of you that tune in for the first time to one of my videos. Make sure to hit that subscribe button right here so you don't miss out any future content. Now let's talk about Click, uh, ClickFunnels Sticky Cookie, what it is and why it's so important. Unfortunately, most people for some reason don't understand how it really works and there's a lot of misguided information out there. And the problem is that even a lot of the people on the ClickFunnels support team, because of their lack of technical knowledge on the first level support, um, don't really understand how it works. So I'm going to help you understand how it works. So there is no confusion anymore about it. Um, most of you already know what a cookie is. Like whenever you visit the website, unless it's a static website where nothing changes and it's like really just like plain HTML, um, the website's going to place cookies on you. So it doesn't matter if it's a WordPress blog, if you go to Amazon, it does not matter. There are going to be cookies placed in your browser. What do these cookies do? They identify you as a visitor, for example. So that's important when you think about membership sites or Facebook, where you go to Facebook and you don't have to log in every time. And when you click somewhere, you don't get locked out. Uh, cookies and so-called session variables, which are on the server and not on your computer, are responsible for stuff like that. Cookies also allow to store other information. So it could be used to store a bunch of information in your browser. And the next time you go to a website, that cookie can basically be loaded or whenever you call a website, the browser sends the cookies that he has for this website to the website itself. And then the logic within the website usually works with those cookies to decide what kind of content you get to see if you're logged in or if you're logged out and so on. Now, the one important thing here to mention is cookies are always tied to your browser. So if I click on your affiliate link on my mobile phone, my mobile phone's browser will get the cookie. If I then later go to ClickFunnels and buy something, you will not get commission if I do it not on the mobile phone, but I use my MacBook for it, for example, yeah? Because the browser in my MacBook does not have that cookie. Now, that's a regular cookie and that's how ClickFunnels regular affiliate tra tracking works because there is no other way to do it. There is no real method out there that works reliable that when you visit some site on your phone, and then later you visit the same site on your desktop that tracks reliable um, your cookies. And it's really a crucial thing to remember, yeah? So it means when you text people on Facebook, for example, when you're personal, uh, personally helping people, make sure to remind them that they have to click on the link immediately before they do the sign up. So not just when you send them the message and they let you know they will do the sign up later, then you need to remind them that they need to click on the link on the device they're going to do the sign up. Most people just don't think about it and suddenly you lost the sale. Now, what's the sticky part about this cookie? And that's something where there's not a lot of information out there, but um, I was able to piece together, yeah, quite something that makes sense, but there is no official proof to that. Um, from some of the lives with Dave Woodward and other videos and, and the Help Center content and so on, and additional posts that I saw from ClickFunnels staff, um, it stands to reason that by sticky cookie, it's actually meant when you get some a person somewhere to click on your affiliate link, and opt in with their email address. So for example, you send them to the Funnel Hackers cookbook download, which they can do for free, but they log in with their email address. Now what happens is that email address gets obviously stored in ClickFunnels database, and it also stores your affiliate ID there. So now it does not matter which device the person uses for the next purchase, because when they then go and sign up for a ClickFunnels account, as long as they use the same email address within the database, ClickFunnels will see, okay, that your affiliate ID is assigned to that email address and you will get the sale credited. And that's what a sticky cookie is. So what's important here to remember, if or when you, for example, run Facebook ads theoretically directly to the ClickFunnels, I don't know, sign up page or any other page, which you should not do according to the affiliate agreement, but let's assume you do it like this. You send traffic via ads directly to one of ClickFunnels pages, but it's one of the pages where people either buy or they leave. Their browser will get a cookie, yes, but if they don't use the same browser, yeah, 
or, or they don't use the same device when they eventually then sign up and they didn't enter their email address anywhere where it's stored within ClickFunnels. So basically, for example, the first step of the sign up form and then they go to the second step where it's about their credit card and they leave, you would be so-called sticky cookie or they would be sticky cookie to you because their email address in and your affiliate ID is in the system. If they just visit the page and they close the browser or the window, whatever, they will have the cookie only in their browser. Now there's one important thing to, to mention here, cookies have a lifetime. I don't know exactly how long the cookie lifetime is set for ClickFunnels cookies. Um, I assume it's quite long, but the point is if you get somewhere, somebody, maybe you, you send your affiliate link to me and I click on the offer and I go to ClickFunnels website so the cookie gets installed in my browser on the current device and then I, for some reason, don't buy. I don't enter my email, I don't do anything. And then, I don't know, two or three months later, I see an ad from ClickFunnels. Chances are that the cookie that was created back then when I clicked on your link is not valid anymore. It is already expired. And therefore, when I then um, make the purchase based on the ClickFunnels ad, you still will not get credit for that sale because your cookie is not valid in my browser anymore, which means my browser will not send it to the ClickFunnels server when I open the ClickFunnels page. Now, those are very important things to notice. So what you want to focus on, ClickFunnels has a value ladder, not just for fun. What you actually want to focus on when you do like, especially when you target cold traffic, don't target higher steps of the value ladder, like the one funnel away challenge. Target offers like the free affiliate bootcamp, the free 30 days.com series. If you know people are, there is a chance that they buy, then target the free books, free plus shipping offers where they pay $8 uh, um, domestic shipping and around $20 international shipping. Yeah, because this way people enter their email address. And as long as they use that same email address for their following purchases, if they eventually decide to get a ClickFunnels account, you will get the sale. The only exception would be, and now they pay very close attention. So you sent me the link, for example, to the affiliate bootcamp and I sign up. So in ClickFunnels database, it says now my email address with your affiliate ID. Now I don't get ClickFunnels. I don't sign up for the OFA. Now, if I were to based on ClickFunnels emails, go there and then buy the OFA, you would get the credit. Yeah, because again, in the system, my email address that I use for the purchase matches your affiliate ID, which is a very, very crucial factor here. Yeah. However, if I click on the affiliate link of somebody else and then I buy the One Funnel Away Challenge, yeah, his cookie will be the last cookie I clicked on and therefore that person or her cookie. So that person will get the commission for this OFA sale and it will basically override your sticky cookie in the database. The only exception to that is when you have a ClickFunnels account. So meaning like when I get one from you. So the moment I create my ClickFunnels account for your affiliate link, basically the email address and your affiliate ID are hard coded. Let's call it hard coded. And the only way to override the affiliate ID in the database is if somebody else sells me the Funnel Builder Secrets package for $1,997 or $2,997. This way, would, this would be the only way to replace your email, uh, your email, uh, your affiliate ID in the database in correlation to my email address. Yeah. So that means you will get the monthly commission for my account unless I stop paying, I pause my account or I buy the Funnel Builder Secrets package using the link of someone else. Now, if that happens, you lose all the follow-up sales as well. However, even if I'm sticky cookie like that, that to you, so I got my ClickFunnels account from you, yeah, but you are lazy ass, you don't send me any follow-up emails to promote the One Funnel Away challenge, the books or anything else. Yeah, that's the crucial point. But somebody else is not as lazy and does some marketing and sends me his affiliate link to get expert secrets and I click on his affiliate link and I buy the book, he will still get the commission for this purchase because immediately before the purchase, I used his link. Yeah. Um, now there is no information out there if that means that if I then buy dot com secret the next day, if you will get the commission or that guy who sent me that link got the commission. The only thing that sure is as uh, 
when somebody opens their ClickFunnels account through your link, you will get the monthly 40% or 30% if you haven't achieved the 40% limit and are not a legacy affiliate that maintained the 40% anyway. And so that's, that's where there is no information out there. There is no accurate information out there. But what you can be sure of is the following things that we already walked through. A, when people don't opt in on a ClickFunnels website, so they don't buy and they don't enter the email address to get something like Marketing Secrets uh, or the Marketing Secrets Black Book. There is no affiliate link for it, but it may still count and, you know, like attach your affiliate ID if you just add it there. Uh, Funnel Hackers Cookbook, um, Affiliate Bootcamp, 30days.com, Summit, and so on. So if, if people enter their email address as well, then that will be stored in ClickFunnels database and it allows ClickFunnels independent of the device and apparently with no expiration date to map purchases to your affiliate ID, even if they happen later. A great example is the Network Marketing Secrets book, which you can to promote to people that are in network marketing. And when they read that book, they will see that ClickFunnels is a great choice because in the book, they also get offered free secret network marketing funnels. So when they then go to sign up for the ClickFunnels account, if they did not click on any affiliate link in between, that sale will be credited to your account because they bought the book, the email with your affiliate ID is in the system. Yeah. The same goes for expert secrets and dot com secrets. But if you think about the books, um, those books have 300 pages in an average font size. So it will take a little bit time to read. The network marketing secrets has 100 pages, a lot of drawings, bigger font size. It can be read probably in an hour or something like this. I, I didn't stop the time when I read it, but it really is like something that you read in between when your internet is not working for a couple minutes. Yeah. And um, is highly convincing, provides a lot of value and will get people more likely to, to then get their ClickFunnels account, which means the time span between uh, they buy the book based on your advertising, uh, YouTube video, blog post, whatever, Facebook Live, whatever reason, and the, the moment where they actually start their ClickFunnels trial because they want to try it themselves is shorter. So chances that they click on another affiliate link in the, in the meantime are smaller. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Eventually, I hope ClickFunnels will actually one day release a, a full document that actually um, isn't consumer friendly, but really goes into the technical aspect so that it's not like some video where somebody says, well, it could be like this or theoretically or in that case, but where it's really like, you know, like stated as it is from a technical perspective, because that would allow people like me to actually break it down for you in every detail, how it really, really works you know, like in every scenario. However, at the moment we have only limited information, even if you visit the ClickFunnels help center um, and their article about the sticky cookie, it's not complete, it's not fully accurate or like it, but basically that doesn't tell you the part about the emails. And so that's all there is right now, yeah. Um, that said, if you're not yet a ClickFunnels affiliate, you can sign up for the affiliate program um, down below. There will be a link in the description. And if you have any questions whatsoever about the sticky cookie thing, um, yeah, feel free to reach out in the comments. Last but not least, before I forget, ClickFunnels has also a $19 per month plan, which you should be aware. I will put a card up here that will link to the ClickFunnels pricing video that walks you through all the six different pricing plans. Um, why is that important? When you promote ClickFunnels, you should know which options are out there and that video will teach you all the options plus what other things people will need in 26 minutes. And there I want to mention with that share funnel link, the tracking of sales doesn't properly work as of right now. ClickFunnels is working on it and so on. The point, however, is this will cause you to lose sales. How can this happen? Um, I had it just recently happen to me, one person that wanted to sign up for us, but wanted to start with the $19 plan, clicked on my share funnel link. Now the share funnel link doesn't set your cookie and she signed up and because she signed up for the OFA through someone else where she entered her email because she actually bought something, in the database, her email and, the, and was matched to the affiliate ID of somebody else. So suddenly she signed up using our share funnel link because she wanted to, but I did not get this sale credited and it was automatically mapped to someone else because she used that link prior to signing up. And again, the share funnel affiliate link doesn't properly work. So this is really a big issue. It basically, it basically means that, uh, 
There is currently no way to ensure that you get share funnel signups um, credited because even if she were to clear her cookies in the ClickFunnels database, if she opted in for anything before via email, um, the email address will be mapped to another affiliate ID. And when she signs up using the share funnel link, their, their cookie most of the time will not properly work, which means the sales will go either directly to ClickFunnels, which would be the best case for you, or to whoever has them sticky cookie. Yeah. Now, if that happens, the only option you have is the person that used your share funnel link needs to send an email to ClickFunnels telling them that they specifically clicked on your link to sign up and open their account and that they wish to be assigned to you. However, ClickFunnels support is only going to do that if the person wasn't sticky cookie to someone else, meaning if the purchase the sign up wasn't credit to somebody else. If it was click funnel support will probably um, not do that or will not guaranteed not do that. And then you need to depend on what the click funnel support tells your prospect or lead to do and make your decision based on that. I really hope this video helped each one of you as an affiliate understand better how those cookies work and also um, helps you to plan your advertising campaigns better and your content better. So you are better aware of what you can do that will result in actually getting people cookie to you and what you uh, shouldn't do because you know it will not pay off. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't so far and see you tomorrow with another episode. Till then, bye bye. Thank you for watching this video. If it provided you with any value whatsoever, don't forget to like it by hitting that thumbs up button down below. And also to ensure you don't miss out any future content, go ahead right now and click on the subscribe button down below. Now, last but not least, the only thing left for you to do is actually pick which of the following two videos you want to see next. And I'll see you there.